Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 rules for success as stated by Miss Lisa Nichols and she is the CEO of Motivating the Masses. This woman is phenomenal. I came across her videos on YouTube and I absolutely love her. I love the way she motivates a crowd and and I'm going to do another video where we talk about or she shares the different types of speakers that that exist because you know everybody wants to be a motivational speaker but there are other types of speakers that are more effective I think than just being a motivational motivational speaker so but that's going to be for another day so today like I said we're going to talk about the top 10 rules for success as stated by Miss Lisa Nichols who is the CEO of motivating the masses so let's jump right on in number one you are your rescue you have to be willing to cut off people that are just as broke and unknowledgeable as you are Make the decision to get up, dust yourself off, and do what you need to do to get where you need to be. That is very much so self-explanatory. I don't need to say anything else about that. Y'all know who those people are in your inner circle. You need to get rid of them. Not saying you can't still love them. Not saying you can't still have a meal with them. But they really cannot be in your inner circle. Number two, believe in, believe in the unseen. You have to believe in yourself even when you don't see the way out. There, this is where your faith has to kick in. And I mean, if you have any ounce of faith, you need to reach down deep and find that faith to be able to move in the direction that you need to go. Number three, my personal favorite, use affirmations. Anything after I am is true to your conscious mind and you will believe it. The power of I am will pull you through the darkest times of your life. So tell yourself, I am smart. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's something y'all know we all love to say. I am rich beyond success. I manage money well. I manage business as well. Whatever your I am is, Write it down and tell yourself that every single day and I promise you, you will get it into your spirit and that thing will come to fruition. Number four, create holistic success. It's okay to focus on yourself to create the success you deserve. Sometimes you need to do a mental detox and stop thinking about other people and focus only on you. Sometimes you have to do that. Number five, do something different. There are times you have to say the things you don't want to say, do the things you don't want to do in order to have the life you want to have. And we can end this video really on that one. But I got five more to share with you. Number six, stop asking for permission. Stop asking for permission and give notice. Let me say that again. Stop asking for permission and give notice for all of you that always have to ask for permission. Hey, you know, and you have to go to your upline. I'm thinking about doing this. What do you think? Or think about doing that. What do you think? Let me tell you something. Stop asking for permission and give notice. I am going to do this. I am going to do that. You have to do that for yourself. The decisions you make have to be your decisions and not what someone else gives you permission to do. Let me say that one more time just in case you missed it. The decisions you make have to be your decisions and not what someone else gives you permission to do. Number seven, disrupt your soil. Your biggest breakthrough can come from unlearning some things and then relearning them all over again Take that old thinking that has been planted inside of you for years and then plant a new seed and then grow new fruit. Some of you have to take that old stinking thinking, throw it out the window, come up with some new stuff. Because if you don't, you want to stay where you are and you'll never be able to move forward. Number eight, unpack your story. We all have a story to tell, but you must be willing to take risks. You must be clear and concise. Show people your story. Don't just tell them. So a perfect example, and this is not my story. I'm just making this up on the fly. Let me be clear. 
Let's say I said to a group of people, you know, there was a point in time in my life where I lost my job, I lost my house, I lost my car, and I lost my dog. And then one day, God sent a blessing in my life and things got better. Now that's a great story, it is. Will I remember it? Probably not, because I didn't give you any specifics. I told you what happened. But let's watch what happens when I show you what happened. And again, this is not my story, I'm just making it up off the fly. So there was a time in my life where I lost my job, my home, my car, and my dog, and I went to a seminar and the speaker talked about how to get back on tri track and live the best life possible. God sent a blessing in the woman sitting next to me who had a business opportunity that was something that I was interested in and had been for some time. So I talked to this woman, I joined her opportunity and my life has been turned around forever. I now have a bigger home. I now have um, a better job and I'm working for myself. I now have two dogs instead of one job, one dog, and I have a better car than what I had before. So you see the difference between those two stories. The first one, I told you about what happened. The second one, I showed you how God came and blessed me. I showed you how he blessed me, who he sent into my life, and all the things that I had before, I showed you how they were now made better. So again, unpack your life, show people your story, don't just tell them, okay? Because I think they'll get it and it'll stay with them much longer. Number nine, find true abundance in your health and your relationships. Are you spiritually grounded? Can you release, forgive, and let go? And let me tell you something. If you cannot do those three things, not necessarily in that order, but if you cannot release, you cannot forgive, and you cannot let go, God cannot bless you and he cannot use you, period, point blank. Some of y'all are running around here holding on to old hurts, holding on to that opportunity or that business that failed, let it go. God is going to bless you with something better, but he cannot until you let those things go, okay? Number 10, dream big. Someone told you you won't amount to much. Stop letting other people put you in a box. Since we were kids, we have been taught to be realistic, practical, and logical instead of dreaming as big as we possibly can. I can't stress that enough. Dream big. Whenever I dream, when I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm telling you, I'm telling you and showing you, I should say, on a large scale of what it is that I plan on doing. And some people look at me and think, this woman has lost her mind. No, I haven't lost my mind. I'm dreaming big because I don't want to be put in anybody's box. I'm too big to be put in a box. And so are my dreams, my ideas. Okay. So now I have two quotes that I want to share with you and then I will bid you good day. The first quote, in order to live the life you love and love the life you live, you have to be willing to step on the other side of normal. Now you might be asking me, Michelle, what's the other side of normal? Well, the other side of normal is that place where people give you permission to live. Remember we talked about stop asking for permission and give notice. You need to step on the other side of that so that you can live the life you love and love the life you live. And then the second quote that I wanted to share with you is, don't define me by my circumstances. Instead, define me by my intentions. Pretty much self-explanatory. Stop defining people by their circumstance, by what's going on in their life, what isn't going on in their life, and start defining them by their intentions or what they're going to do or what they're working towards doing or what they want to do. That way you can help encourage them and not try to keep them again in this little box that they're already in. So that has been the 10 tips that were shared by Miss Lisa Nichols. CEO of Motivating the Masses. And I, when I heard that video a few days ago, I knew I wanted to do this video to share those tips with you. And I hope that it will bless you in some way, shape or form. Now, if you noticed in the beginning of this video, I was very purposeful about you seeing this shirt I'm wearing that says Travel Agents Rock. My sister-in-law made this shirt for my team and I. And I absolutely love it. I actually have two. And so the next time I do a video, I'll wear the other one because it has the pink bling in it. 
and she her work is excellent her prices are reasonable so if you're looking for bling shirts for any kind of business regardless of what it is i'm going to leave her information in the description box please reach out to her to get your bling shirts i promise you you will not be dissatisfied she also did shirts for our women's um our girlfriend's getaway i'm sorry that we went on back in march um she, we did them she did them in purple and in pink everybody loved their shirts every time i wear it i get compliments on it so again tanya dorn arnold does bling shirts see my family does it big and so i'm going to make sure i put her information in the description box and i'm also going to share information or at least a video by uh miss lisa nichols so that you can see who i'm talking about absolutely love this woman i think she's amazing and on that note i look forward to seeing you all on the beaches of the world and the business opportunities of the world may we network together and may our businesses grow until our next video take care